Welcome to my show, Dealing with Feelings. Hi, um, I'm here to talk about the Emotitude series for my show, Dealing with Feelings. And today we want to talk about what really, really matters in life. So, for example, I can show you one thing here that really matters to me is my little dog, Jaja. And she matters a lot to me. She's 17 years old and she's always been there for me through thick and thin, haven't you, Jaja? And she's just taking a nap right now because she's tired. But um, she's a good girl and she matters because she gives me love. She's always there to cuddle and be there for me. And so I'm gonna put her in my lap while we talk about what really matters. When you have a toy or a thing, <clears throat> like a phone or a rock, or something, do, do you think it matters as much as somebody like this, who's always there for you? <laughs> I think my Jaja here matters a lot more than my phone. I could always get a new phone, but I can never get a new Jaja. So today I'm gonna show you a story about that I wrote about a little boy who had to um, think about what really matters to him and leave some of the things behind that he thought were important to him. So here we go. I'm gonna show you this story about what matters. And I want you to look and see if you can see the it matters a multitude. It looks like this. And I look through the the story and see if you can see the it matters a multitude. So here we go. We're going to take a look at the it matters a multitude. And this is a true story. It actually happened in 1937. Can you see the It Matters a Motitude in this picture? You have to look really close. So here's a little boy and he watched the rain for four days. It did not stop. The levee broke and caused a flood. First, the water came through the front door. So we all went upstairs. Then the water came onto the second floor we had to climb out onto the porch roof. Grandpa came in a boat to take us to higher ground. Grandpa said, I'll take you to my home on the hill. So we got into the boat and left our home. As Grandpa rode, I worried about leaving my toys behind. I said nothing though. As Sissy snuggled under Dad's arm, Dad said, thank you so much for being here, Pa. We are forever grateful you came for us. Then Grandpa told our neighbor more boats were on the way to come for him. Grandpa choked up and said, you all matter so much to me. There was more silence as everyone looked at the smoothness of the water submerging the homes. My worry spilled out and I asked, Mom, Dad, what about my toys, clothes, and chess set? Dad turned to me and said, Greg, things do not matter as much as family. Let us get to dry land and worry about that tomorrow. So what do you think happened next? 
do you think that uh, Greg got a hold of his toys? How important was that? What was the most important thing? Well, you, if you read my book, It Matters, A Caring Motitude, you'll find out what happened to Gray and how he discovered what really matters. And maybe it will help you discover in your life what really matters to you. And my thought is if you look through the eyes of the caring emotitude, you can find what matters if you look at things with love, with your heart. Just like with my little Jaja here, I love her very much. And she loves me because she likes to be with me and I like to be with her. You can read more emotitude books through your Kindle Fire, and you can also read them through paperbacks on Amazon. So I hope you'll look for the Emotitude series. This is the 13th book in the series, and there's a lot more. You can find out about joy, love, fear, anger, disgust, frustration, and more. Right now I'm working on a book about guilt. So I hope you enjoyed having a chance to see a little peek into one of the emotitude books today. And I hope you can think about what matters in your life. And maybe you might be surprised or you might not be surprised at all. Go ahead and post on the comments, and like and subscribe, and I'll answer your questions if you have any. And I give free books out to every 100 subscribers.